On Isoca UK TV, in association with SMP Europe, I'm joined by the new GB under 20s captain Liam Stenton. Liam, thanks for joining us and congratulations. How much of this, you know, how much an honour is this? Thank you for having me. Um, it's a really big honour for me, you know, being captain of the team, even getting selected for the team is a massive honour. But then being named as captain, you know, that really means a lot to me. It means the coaches and staff see that I'm a, a good leader and I feel that about myself anyway. Um, but it just proves that I've, I've put that out there and they, they can see it as well. At the time of speaking, we don't yet know the assistant captains. I know the coaching staff are going to decide on that later in the week after your warm-up games. But will you will you lean on other experience in the dressing room? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's Nobody can expect you to be able to lead a whole team yourself, you know, especially with a roster of 22 guys. Um, I'm not a massive voice in a changing room either. You know, there's other guys in the team that I've got a massive voice and they love to talk in the changing room. I'm, I like to show, they can let them like lead by example almost. Uh, always working hard, doing the right things, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll lean on other guys massively to help me out. Just wonder how it's been. You got to Romania early yesterday morning, I believe, very early in flight, I think, from, from Luton. How have your first couple of days been? Yeah, they've been good. Yesterday was just, once we got here, we just chilled out. Um, in our COVID bubble, obviously, in our rooms. And then we just kind of had food downstairs and then we went to bed. And um, this morning, up nice and early, down for breakfast. Had a good team breakfast and then over to the rink for practice. And as we speak, in half an hour, I'll be leaving for the, the friendly game tonight against Lithuania. How good was that first practice? Because it's, it's really hard with, especially the under-20s and the under-18s, to get everybody together in one place because a lot of players play all around the world now. How good was it, everyone together, for, for I guess what was the first time? Yeah, it's really good, obviously, everybody coming in. People coming from all different places. So, yeah, it's really good. We started off a bit slow on practice this morning, but once we got going, we were, we were good. And obviously, with the tired legs, people flying. Obviously, some people jet lag as well, coming from the States. Um, but, but yeah, like we, we started going and we were looking good. Well, you say you started time, but you've got quite a bit of time to prepare because official arrival day for this tournament is, is Sunday. But you've gone out there early. You've got two warm-up games. How crucial is that in terms of your preparation? Oh, yeah, it's very crucial. Obviously, we need to get used to our system. Some people haven't played this system before. There's only, you know, two guys that have been on their 20s team before as well. So um, it's, it's tough obviously, to get that in in sh such a short time. But obviously, Kino sends us out the playbook early. Um, we get to know most of it, all of it, if we can, and then into training, and then we start putting it into practice and into the games we go. Yeah, you mentioned only that the, the two, there's two players play who have played from the 20s before. How strange has it been? I mean, you're, you're one of them, of course, but how how strange, I guess, is it for you and collective, the team, that there's there's not been international ice hockey for, for so long? Yeah, it's strange. Some boys haven't even played for Great Britain before. Um, me and Alex Graham are the two that have played for the 20s team in Vilnius when we won the silver medal. And obviously, that means a lot, winning a silver medal. So <clears throat> Alex knows that as well. And these boys will have to work that out. That it is a lot, even winning a, a medal at a World Championship. So it's a short period of time playing with boys you don't usually play with. You know, anything's a great honour, but obviously we're wanting to go for gold this year. Yeah, you mentioned that. You, the silver two years ago was fantastic. You know, where do you think your biggest threats lie for the gold medal this time around? Uh, well, obviously, Italy coming down. Obviously, they're top seed, so more than likely, they're going to be pretty good. Um, Lithuania, we've just done a pre-scout there with, uh, about Lithuania. They look big, quite strong, quite fast. So, you know, honestly, anybody could take this gold medal, but hopefully it's us and hopefully we get the job done. You talked about the COVID restrictions. I gather you're in a typical now double IHF bubble where it's ice rink or, or hotel. You know, how, how are you finding those? It's early days yet, but how are you finding that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's different, obviously, not being allowed out of the hotel. Obviously, it's for our safety and other player safety and staff. Um, but obviously, a bit like the Elite Series that I played in during, during lockdown, um, obviously, in the bubble, you can't really mix with anybody else. Here, obviously, we're not allowed outside as well, so... Got the windows open in the bedroom to get as much fresh air in as we can. All that is pretty cold, but you know, we're doing what we can. Um, obviously, talking away to all the other boys, they kind of find it the same. It's a bit different, but we're just going to have to get on with it and get the job done. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I know the men had a, a room where they could relax and, and, and the women too when, when they were in, in Nottingham a, a few weeks ago. Is there somewhere where you can hang out and, and do games and, and, and be together? Uh, well, we've, there's a conference room down the stairs. We've not been given access to that individually, I don't think. Obviously, we've done our, our team meeting in there um, just not long ago, but I don't know if we're allowed in there. Like, as a team, maybe we could start, sort something out where we could get in um, just as a team, whatever, whatever day, you know, just as somewhere to go to hang out. And you mentioned, you mentioned the Elite Series, which uh, my final question is, is how much do you feel that that developed you as a player? Because you you got a lot of ice time in, in the Elite Series with the four Elite League teams there, you know, with the only eight imports, it brought so much ice time for the, for the British players. You know, how much did that develop you? And of course, you, you, you won as well, you know, with the Panthers. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks to the Panthers, obviously. Um but yeah, it was a really good experience there. A lot of ice time, a lot of valuable ice time. I've learned quite a lot. Obviously, playing new systems, being around people I've never been around before. You know, all the staff in Nottingham were brilliant. All the players were brilliant. Um, but yeah, bringing that import level down a bit. Obviously, a lot of British talent shine. Um, a lot of boys have moved up a, a level, if you say, in their like their new signings that year. So yeah, I think it was a really good thing, Elite Series, yeah. Thanks for joining us, Liam, and good luck for the tournament. Thank you, mate. Cheers.